We found some treasure. Yes, we did. We did. Yeah, you want to see? Do you want to see? Uh, yeah, me too. Let's show them. Let's show them. Hello, vintage neighbors. Welcome to the vintage girl next door. My name is Lacey. Today's video, we're going to the antique mall. Emmett's going right now. <laughs> I'm going to take you with me. We're going to go on a little antiquing treasure hunt and see what vintage treasures we can find. I'm really excited because I haven't been to this antique mall for a long time. In fact, since the last time I brought you with me. So it's been a couple of months now. They are constantly getting new things in. There's so much to see there. And I know that we're gonna find some amazing things. So I hope you're as excited as I am. If you missed my other antiquing with me video, then I will go ahead and link it for you so that you can check that one out and see what treasures I found last time. There was a lot, you guys, so I'm really optimistic. I think we're gonna find some fun things. So I'm gonna bring my mom with me again. We're gonna head out and see what treasures we can find. Before we head out to the antique mall, I wanted to say a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. I have been an Audible member for years and years now. I love reading. I love listening to audiobooks. So I was really excited when they reached out to do a video. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment. They have thousands of audiobooks as well as podcasts. Yes. Hello. As an Audible member, you get one credit a month, and that is good for all the titles in their premium collection, as well as their plus catalog. You can download titles to your listening library and then listen offline anytime. The Audible app is free to download and you can have it on your smartphone or your tablet. So you can take your entire library with you on the go and you can listen across devices. So it keeps your place no matter which device that you use, you open the Audible app and it remembers where you were. Also, you don't have to worry about losing your credits. You can keep them for up to a year. And then if you feel like you want to binge a whole series of books, just say you can save your credits up <laughs> and then get the whole series all at once and just do a big binge listen. Like I mentioned, I've been an Audible member for years now. I love reading and I love listening to audiobooks, especially these days, I feel like I am so busy. I love being able to listen to a good story while I'm getting ready for the day or while I'm doing chores around the house and makes those tasks go by way faster when I'm involved and invested in a good story. My most recent book I've been enjoying is called Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. It is a historic World War II novel it is inspired by the life of a real life World War II heroine. You guys know I love history. I especially love World War II history. So this book is right up my alley. Plus I love hearing and reading stories about amazing, brave women from history. So this one is a winner for me. I am quite enjoying it. I can't stop listening. It's so good. So right now, for a limited time, you can get 60% off a three-month subscription to Audible. That's only $5.95 a month for the first three months. I'll link it for you in the description and also put it right here on the screen. You'll go to audible.com slash to get 60% off your first three months of Audible. Or you can text LACYFAY to 500-500. If you want to get started with Audible, go ahead and use my link to get that 60% off. Thanks again, Audible, for sponsoring this video. All right, without further ado, let us go to the antique mall. I'm ready to hunt for treasure. I'm so excited. Let's see what we can find. We made it to the antique mall. This one is called the Gypsy Emporium, and it is just huge. 
you guys. Every time I come here, I underestimate the amount of time I can spend in an antique mall. And I think this trip was about three hours in here, so <laughs> it is definitely large. There are so many beautiful things, lots of cute holiday stuff that was out, the dishes, and there was some holiday decorations, which I loved. Cool old phones. Uh, this one caught my eye. Looked like maybe it was a gadget. I do love pinup art. These portraits of Betty Page were very cool. And then, of course, some Pyrex. Gotta show the Pyrex some love. I usually don't buy Pyrex at antique stores or antique malls, though, because it is a little pricey. I had my eye on that Friendship Divided dish, but alas, it was $45. I also really liked this little hutch, this display hutch, and I didn't ever see a price on it. So maybe it was just to display those Pyrex pieces and not for sale. This is the upper level. I spied some dolly art. And lots of cool things. In this case, some old, old antique things. I thought this was hilarious. It is a facial massager. <laughs> I'm thinking probably vintage 1940s or 50s. Had the mirror right there. And then here is the massager. Yikes. <laughs> I do want to try one of these sometime, but this one was scaring me a little bit. Like, you plug it in, and then, like, the cord runs through the box. I don't know. Seemed iffy. Maybe one day I'll find one that I can try out for you guys. I thought that this metal detector looked really cool. I'm still on the hunt for a 1950s Geiger counter. I feel like that would be amazing to own. These birds looked a little haggard, you guys. <laughs> Those poor bluebirds, their eyes were a little bloodshot. All the copper molds, don't they just make you happy? I love to see the copper molds, very cool. amazing hats and some gloves and jewelry in this case that was fun to look at. Nothing really caught my eye, but still fun to look. This hat, however, did catch my eye. Look how pretty it is. I love the lace look to it and yeah, I had to had to give it a little try on to see what we thought about it. This ceramic set also caught my eye. Look how cute it is. I loved the gold and the white, like the metallic gold was so pretty, but that set was quite pricey, so ended up leaving it behind. Lovely pile of oh, hats. That orange one was cool. Also, I liked that blue, kind of lacy looking one. I thought that was pretty as well. This skirt was very intriguing to me. I'm not sure what era it is, but to me, it looked like it could be 1920s, you guys. The construction of it with the snaps, no zipper, um, material, all of that, and it was only $10. And I thought, gosh, I mean, I don't think that I would wear it. I don't know. And so I left it behind, but I don't know, I'm debating on whether or not I should have gotten it. There was some cool vintage cheerleading outfits. I think they are 1980s, but I'm not positive, but they were pretty cute. Also, this little toddler size snowsuit I thought was neat with the embroidery on it. 
And then here we have a bunch of dresses, bunch of slips. Very cool. There was actually several that were um, in larger sizes, which was good to see. You usually don't see that, and they were very well priced. This, look, you guys, 1920s wool bathing suit. So cool. Look, beach mate. 100% wool. Oh boy. And also a very good price. Half off of $45. Wow. This one, it was very wounded. I couldn't decide, but I'm pretty sure it's 1930s. Has that really nice bias cut, flattering bias cut, but both sides were totally open. So I'm not sure if one side maybe had a zipper or what, but it was also very cheaply priced, but gosh, I just didn't know if I wanted to spend the time to fix it. This one, however, I really loved. Looked a little small, so I had to try it on to be sure, but yeah, very pretty. I loved the blue flowers and the stripes. Found a vintage sewing machine, not quite the one I'm looking for. And then also I thought this little cabinet it was on was very cute. More copper molds. The little fish, gotta love it. And then this little guy caught my eye as well, and my mom's. We were very intrigued and it ended up that it is a soap dispenser with a mount that you could mount it to your wall. It even had the bag of soap still intact. It was brand new in the box. Very cool. I loved that turquoise Melmac. I'd love to get a complete set at some point. I do have some in my collection, but I'd love a full turquoise set or a full pink set. This was hilarious, you guys. A letter liquor, it says. <laughs> so funny. And I spy a kitty. Ah, so pretty. Um, this was very intriguing. Old American made makeup box, probably haunted. Hmm, so for a small price of $25, you could buy a ghost. <laughs> it wasn't in great shape and I, I was I was concerned about the haunting so yeah did not grab this one isn't that hilarious though I was very intrigued my mom and I had fun looking through this 1957 high school yearbook they were very popular it belonged to a girl named Dixie and she had lots of signatures and I just love looking through and especially love looking at the clothes and at the hair. There is the prom queen, 1956 homecoming queen, Judy. Look, there's some good hairstyles, pretty dresses. I also like looking at the men's hairstyles as well. I think it's very fun to just look at, be able to look at like everyday people and how they wore their hair and makeup and clothes. It's very fun to look through. Again, I feel like these don't look like seniors to me. Like, I don't, I don't know you guys, they look older than that. Carol had some nice glasses. I liked those glasses. A lot of baby bangs in this yearbook, a lot of little bangs. Also some very cool uranium glass. It was quite pricey. Look at this lady head face. Oh my gosh, I love her. I've never seen a holiday one before. I was so excited. Also, these dogs are concerning me. <laughs> this one I've never seen before. It is the Jackie Kennedy morning head. 
1964. It was, they wanted 129 for it, which honestly is probably fair. I just, I couldn't justify it. Also, this bank. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. I've been looking for one of these. And you put the coin on the end of that little piece and shoot it into the rocket. Like, launch it in. How cool is that? I loved this Christmas decoration. Very cute. All right, we are back. And you may have noticed from the footage, we did find some treasure. I'm so excited to show you. Let's go through the vintage treasures that I found today at the antique mall. As you can see, I came away with quite the haul. Let's get into it. First up is a vintage gadget. And this one, I am <laughs> very anxious to try. It is Collins Quick and Easy Skirt Marker. Chalk your hem this easy back time and nerve saving way. No squint, no squat, just squeeze the bulb and mark an accurate hem in 60 seconds. 60 seconds, eh? So this is what it is. Look how cool. Look how cool it is. So it is skirt marker with the, bo with the box that it came in. It's got the ruler, it's got this little uh, container, this little glass jar, has the line right here, and it has some chalk dust inside. So you squeeze the little bulb and it will deposit the chalk dust and mark where you want the hem for your skirt to be. I'm quite excited to test this one for you. I am actually making a Christmas dress right now. So this is gonna come in handy. I'll test it on that dress and see if how it works for marking the hem. This gadget was only $14, been marked down from $25. It was only 14, so I thought I would grab it and test it out for you. Next up, I ended up getting this fabulous black hat Look how pretty it is, you guys. It's in amazing shape. I love a good wide brim hat. This one was $25, which, I mean, I feel like that's fair. It's in really good shape. Online, a hat like this would definitely go for probably $40 to $50, so I felt good about paying $25 for this one. I do have a lot of hats, but I don't have a hat like this, so wanted to grab it, and I'm really excited to wear it. It's really pretty. Next up, I could not be more excited. Look at this beautiful Christmas lady head base. She is gorgeous. I love her. Look at her pretty, like, holly, holly berry, like, wreath hat. Oh my gosh. She is dated 1957 on the bottom. Napco, lady head vase. She's beautiful and I love her. I feel like $28 was a super fair price for her. She's in mint condition, beautiful. I'm so excited to add her to my collection. You guys, I found the biggest atomic kitty figurine i've ever seen in my life and i'm in love with it look at her oh my gosh this is she's big i love it she's so pretty and japanese kitsch kitty yes she is super kitschy very pretty only ten dollars you guys. Honestly, I don't know if any of my shelves are tall enough to accommodate her, but I will see. We will find her a home and she's glorious. So pretty.
Next up, we have a vintage slip. This one is so pretty. It's black, and I didn't have a full body black slip, so definitely had to grab it. It was on sale, 20% off of $14.99, so very good deal. It's so pretty, such pretty delicate lace on here. My exact right size, also the cut of it is really pretty. I think it's gonna look pretty on. It does have, it does have a few holes, uh, but I feel like I can mend those just fine and it will still be totally wearable. Very soft, very pretty. Couldn't pass it up. Next up, I found this vintage Pendleton jacket. I love this plaid. In fact, I have a button-up shirt that is the same Pendleton plaid. So I had to get the jacket, right? Oh my goodness. Has these very cool big pockets on the front. Here is the tag. Yeah, had to grab it. And this one was $29.95, which I mean, for a wool Pendleton, I didn't feel like that was a bad price at all. So had to grab it, plus it matched one I already had. Lastly, I grabbed this super pretty little blue and blue flowered 1950s dress. And she is a bit wounded, a little bit um, dingy, but I think I can clean her up. And it needs a new hem put in, but that's easy enough to do. And just, just re-hem and then reinforce some of these seams, a little bit, a few popped seams here and there. It is marked Del Monte Sportswear, San Francisco. I love the collar, I love the buttons down the front of this one with the kind of, where it's kind of tight along the ribs right here. I feel like it looks really flattering on. So pretty, had the original belt with it, which is always a plus. And this one was originally marked $28, but it was 40% off of that. So definitely worth it to me. I feel like I can clean her up and it is going to be a beautiful kind of early spring dress. Like I said, a little dingy, especially around the neckline collar line it has some yellowing, but I think that I can soak it and get it cleaned up quite nicely. Definitely worth a try for only like $17. That's what I came home with from my adventure day of antiquing. Thanks so much for coming with me. And if you enjoyed it and had fun or enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. What was your favorite item that I brought home today from the antique mall? Oh my goodness, it's so hard for me to choose, but I think I think it might be the lady head base. She's gorgeous, you guys, and I'm so excited to have found her and given her a new home. Thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for being part of the Vintage Neighborhood. If you are new and you have not subscribed already, please do so. We would love to have you join our Vintage Neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use my link audible.com slash Lacey Faye or text Lacey Faye to 500-500 to get 60% off of your first three months membership to Audible. I'm sending you all the good vibes for finding all the vintage treasure and I hope that wherever you are in the world that you are feeling safe and feeling loved and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Any cash? Okay, okay. okay. Will, you, will you lay down? That's a good kitty. <sighs> no, get out of that bag, please. Hey, be good. You don't talk back to your mom. Jonica.